Welcome to Airheads. Coming up, we have hot air, we have air streaming showcasing the best air gunning on YouTube. First, what do pellets mean? Pellets mean prizes, and that's why world champions have gathered to win cash prizes at Lee Valley in Hertfordshire. It is the first HFT Masters. FT Masters is a go. There's passion in HFT and it's clear to see at the first ever HFT Masters. Naturally there's opening night nerves but the car park is filling nicely. Roger and seasoned course designer Ian Bainbridge have spent many months bringing this all together. It's nerve-wracking, let's say that. Uh, but here we are at Lee Valley, the first, first venue. It looks, it looks a wonderful, wonderful turnout. And I can only say thank you to everybody that, that, that have come and, and have supported us. Unlike other competitions, competitors are allowed to look around the course before it starts. Another commitment the organisers have made is inclusivity. Ian wants anybody to be able to come along and give it a go. First and foremost, it should be enjoyable and be shootable by all. Uh, whether you're nine years old and coming for the first time to shoot HFT, or a veteran, or a world champion. I mean, uh, today we have three world champions here, uh, but at the same time my course was designed for the nine-year-old who's left-handed or a disabled uh, they will be able to shoot that course no problem at all. The setting couldn't be better. A sun-dappled bluebell wood isn't bad for a first outing and Ian has taken advantage of the Lee Valley topography placing targets high, low, near and far. So what are the chances of someone clearing it? Over the, over the years I've been dead against anybody, anybody clearing any one of my courses. Today I hope somebody clears it. Whether they will, there's a little bit of breeze coming up. Uh, but as I said, as I said to you just now, it's all there in front of you. There's nothing Mickey Mouse. There's nothing uh, that's going to frighten anybody, whether you're a newbie or whether you're uh, one of the world champions. Uh, it's all there to be shot. Among the competitors is Jamie Chandler. The last time we filmed Jamie, he was trying to shoot an elusive pigeon. Today the targets are there, but they are tricky, and Jamie has even mastered the single shot gold star. A little bit of hope and pray. What's your uncle? Look at that. Simple as that. Jamie has tried to compete before, but was told his score wouldn't count. Not today. I went to um, a nameless HFT course, I contacted them and they said I could go around but unfortunately my score wouldn't count because I'm, I have no hands effectively uh, and I can't shoot prone. Whereas obviously the Masters gives me the opportunity to actually come out here and uh, level the playing field with rather good shots like these guys, so a uh, pretty good day. I have an issue with shooting prone unfortunately, um, so instead I shoot seated, rested on my knee, um, well forearm rested on my knee which I think is Roughly the same st uh, same stability, if not a little bit less. But um, no, uh, it seems to work for me. Apart from when I'm with guys like this, who are exceptionally good. Uh, but we'll see how we get on. On the other side of the wood, we catch up with the current and ex world champion Vince. Is fresh from success at Kelmarsh and has a very neat trick to check wind using wool. Just stuff that you find naturally on the floor. If the wind's not blowing really terribly hard, you just pick it up and drop it, see what way it's going, can give you the edge. So I learned it off the best my mate with Richard Woods, so it works. He confesses he didn't have the best preparation for Kelmarsh, so how does he feel about the result? Surprising. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a lot more surprised people than me, but uh, yeah, it, it did surprise me somewhat, but uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it last year. I'd only been shooting six months last year, 18 months this year, so um, done quite well I think. But, uh, coming off with uh, 50 out on the second day surprised me because most of the night I was up 
uh, running around trying to find some Imodium, so I wasn't in the best of health. <laughs> so. There you go. World champion in 18 months. Not bad going, is it? But he has spent many an hour and fired many a pellet at the Malden and District Air Rifle Club. Yeah, I think I've got through 15,000 pellets in the last 18 months, so I'll get through a fair few. <laughs> Most of them missing, but hey-ho. <laughs> so how are you feeling about today? How's it gone? Uh, um, well, compared to Richard, not doing too well. I've dropped two already, but uh, the pressure will get the better of him in a minute, so hopefully I'll, I'll do all right by the end of it. The yeah, it is, yeah. I think the more calm you are, the better, you, better scores, well, for me anyway, the better scores I put in, the more calm I am. So, But it's just having a nice, calm environment, being in lovely surroundings and uh, going along with a nice, well well organised uh, show, it's really good. Fellow Air Arms sponsored shooter and 2014 champion Rudy Goldslade is also here and he's another example of how commitment and a pinch of talent of course can get you to the top of the leaderboard. I've been shooting every every week, shooting the national courses and the world championships and a lot of the club shoots as well. Well I started off, I didn't shoot HFC until about six months after just shooting on the plinking range until someone at the gun club just asked me if I could shoot from a peg. So I had a go at that and then shot the competition the following day and really enjoyed it. So how, are you, how are you sparing so far? Yeah, it's not bad. Um, I'm one down. Didn't take any wind. I thought he was going to take a little bit of wind, but I'm enjoying the course. Halfway through and how is Roger feeling? Five, zero, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15 in. Loving the course. It's not too difficult, but it's there's a few little testers out there, hence me being three down. Anyway, that's that. Yeah, I like, uh, as they say, wipe your mouth and carry on. People are enjoying themselves. Uh, we've not had any. Oh, we've had one ceasefire because one of the uh, one of the strings got broken. But other than that, everything's going great. So yeah, all looking good. What is good to see is more experienced shots being paired with newbies, so they learn as they go. There's also a big age range. But come on, girls, there were a few. We need a balance here. There's some seriously good shooting, and after the scores have been collected, ex-world champion Tony Archer and BSA-sponsored shooter Barry Smith are tied on 58. There are also shoot-offs for third and fourth, and in the Springer class for second and third. After a very tense session, we have our first ever winner of the HFT Masters. Barry takes the top prize. Yeah, 58. I'm, I'm happy with that. You know, it's my, it's my PB with the gold star. And uh, the course was tricky. You know, the wind was there, you know, there was nothing straightforward at all. I've got all my standards, which is quite rare, and um, I'm happy I'm over the moon. And I'm really happy for Roger and Ian, you know, they put a lot of time and effort into it, and it's just been great. great day. It really is his day, as he also takes home the top cash prize in the draw, 250 quid. Not a bad day at the office. The winner of the Spring Air Rifle class is 2014 world champion Harry Callagher. He loves his Springer and was only a few targets behind the PCP boys. Uh, PCPs are great, but Springers just all day long. I'd rather pick a Springer up all day long. Love it, challenge, uh, just enjoy it, thoroughly enjoy it. The, well, the most wind I gave it today was three quarters of a mil dot. They do say that Springers take less wind than PCPs. The guys I was shooting with, shooting PCPs, were giving it one, one and a quarter mil dots, where I was giving it three quarters. So it's great. As everyone packs up, we catch up with Jamie, who put in a very respectable score of 35. You never know what to expect when you turn up to this sort of thing. For me, it can be, I do get a bit funny about you know, a lot of people being around, and uh, to be honest with you, it's been absolutely fantastic. Um, really friendly bunch, everybody inquisitive and happy to watch, but um, you know, it's very, very supportive. It's a, just, yeah, fantastic. One of the uh, most fun things I've done for a while, actually. You can't say fairer than that. The organisers want this series to grow and grow, and for that to happen, they need to offer good competitions, good prizes, and show that shooting sports are open to absolutely everyone. Visit hftmasters.net for more. From shiny trophies to the wooden spoon of news, it is David with Hot Air. This is Hot Air. The bill to licence air guns in Scotland is going ahead. Gun owners in some parts of Scotland already face a wait of up to nine months for shotgun and firearm certificates. The new law will add another 500,000 applications to the queue. The Scottish Conservatives refused to endorse the air weapons and licensing bill Scotland and said they would oppose it unless the Scottish Government changes its stance on air gun licensing. Air guns made a small appearance in the UK general election campaign. 
Labour said that Conservative cuts to services were making hospitals unhygienic after Great Western Hospital in Swindon reported that pigeons on its roof had to be shot. However, the Tories said that there were far more pigeons under Labour. It was a productive few days for British rifle shooters in Hanover in Germany. Jen McIntosh set a new British record in the women's air rifle at the international shooting competition, while her sister Sinead McIntosh won gold in the junior women's air rifle. They are pictured here with Katie Gleason, who took a GB junior record and won bronze in the 50 metre prone. The Penrith Red Squirrel Group have a chance of getting a grant of £10,000. Insurance company Aviva is holding a competition for grants from its community fund, but the squirrels only get the money if they get enough votes. Voting is easy. Go to bit.ly forward slash squirrel vote. And finally, staying with squirrels, a photographer has found a clever way of capturing squirrels working out. Photographed in a London garden, these squirrels look like they're lifting weights. Photographer Max Ellis used treats and weights on fishing lines to take the pictures for his son. You are now to date with Hot Air. Aiming for accuracy, targeting the truth. Now let's have a look at the wider world of air gunning on YouTube. It is air streaming. Charlie Jacoby here. This is my roundup of the best air gunning on YouTube. Squirrel Hunter's brother is on the trigger at a permission that has not performed recently. They're investigating a feeder emptied by unknown creatures. Next up, Shooter Vermin is also out squirrel shooting with a sub 12 foot pound air rifle testing new equipment. Americans after squirrels. Neuron 1971 is using a custom Benjamin Marauder pistol in 2 2. More Benjamins. Despite a dose of man flu, Pyramid Air's air gun reporter gamely tries out the Benjamin Bulldog in his 127th episode. If you want a test of the power of the FX Bob, Cat Mark II, this film from France, shows it in action on a range, hitting tin cans at 140 metres. Air Arms Hunting SA is going a bit more big game these days. A good goose film last month, and now this, guinea fowl hunting at Spot X. Hunter's Vermin, surely the Ted Buyer of UK air gunning, has put out Farmyard Vermin Control 24 after Magpies, Crows and Jack Tours. And finally, the air gun as machine gun. To California, where air guns world is using a draws to Blackbird and Umarex's Steel Force and Steel Storm. Click on the links to watch the videos, or you will find them in the this film's description. If you would like to send in a video for air streaming, ping me the link charlie at fieldsportschannel.tv. Now, if you don't like those, how about this? Kai at Bryn sporting a beard unboxes and shoots the Air Arms S400 Superlight. Clues in the name. It is a good quality Air Arms air gun that's light. Just six pounds. Remarkable for a PCP, especially when you consider its conventional design with barrel over cylinder. Use of poplar wood instead of beech trims nearly half a pound off the weight. The SF400F Superlight is the latest in the popular single-shot S400 line that refuses to lie down and let the multi-shot S410 take over. Designed as a hunting rifle, it is popular in competition too, with three times world field target champion Nick Jenkinson on the original design team. Check out Kai's review on YouTube at Air Arms TV or click the link on the screen. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. We'll be back in a couple of weeks. Goodbye. <laughs>